Maxi Pollux. Come here. Are you excited? Guys, are you excited that Mama's gonna cook you with dinner tonight? I think they are. You wanna help me in the kitchen? You wanna do some taste testing? Are you ready, Moo Moo? So I'm coming to you from the kitchen today, but today's video was really not about me and it's not about cooking. It is actually about my dogs, Maxie and Pollux. For the longest time, I have been wanting to cook them a very special dinner. I've been considering starting to make their food for them, like me, cook it, fresh ingredients, things I buy at the grocery store, no more buying dog food. It was, it's something that's been on my mind and now that I'm retired, I think I wanna give it a go, but tonight is the first time that I'm actually gonna cook something specifically for Maxie and Pollux. Whenever I have a sick dog, I always boil them chicken and make brown rice. That's just a staple in our house and the boys love it. They think it is a very special treat, but it really is when they're sick. But tonight, I'm gonna make them something super special, a fantastic dinner. Nobody's sick, I'm just doing it because I love them and I want to just kind of test this out because cooking for your dogs every day is really going to be a time commitment and I'm going to try to ease into this and just see if it's something that I think I can keep up. So tonight's dinner is going to be ground chicken, zucchini, carrots, white rice. It's going to have egg in it, turmeric, pepper, and chicken broth. I think that's all. Yes, I believe it is. Okay, so I have a confession. I went to the grocery store, bought all the ingredients for their dinner tonight. I just got out my zucchini and thought, well, that's weird. I bought a stinking cucumber. <laughs> I promise. I know the difference in a zucchini and a cucumber. I swear I do. Somebody must have laid this in the zucchini pile because uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, all of the zucchinis were gigantic. Um, but this is a cucumber, so I guess our meal tonight is not gonna have a zucchini in it, but that was my intention. Do you think they'll care? I mean, I don't think they'll care, right? Maxi Pollux, come here. Are you excited? Mama's gonna cook for you tonight. I think they're excited. Guys, are you excited that Mama's gonna cook you with dinner tonight? I think they are. They're very, very excited. Are y'all gonna help me in the kitchen? You wanna help me in the kitchen? You wanna do some taste testing? <laughs> I think they do! Okay, let's get out our ingredients, Pollux, and we're gonna start our very special dinner for these two sweet boys. So the dog's dinner tonight is gonna have brown rice that I'm gonna boil in chicken broth, lean ground chicken, carrots, an egg, baby spinach, it is going to have turmeric in it for its anti-inflammatory properties because Pollux's knee is hurting him, and some black pepper, which in my research, you have to have black pepper to activate the turmeric. So let's cook this up. Let's make the boys some dinner. Pollux, are you gonna help me in the kitchen? You got your tail swinging. Are you excited about this? Mooey, are you excited about your special dinner, buddy? Let's do it, let's get to cooking. They're in here with me, I know they're excited. The first thing I'm gonna do is boil my brown rice just by the instructions on the box, but instead of using water, I'm gonna use chicken broth to add flavor. So I'm gonna do that, have my rice finished and ready sitting at the side, I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna start to brown my ground chicken. Look who's supervising. Are you supervising, Mooey? You smell it. You know this is for you, don't you, Moose? So I did use a box grater to grate my carrot because I wanted it to be very fine. That way it would cook evenly. And you know, Maxie's an old guy. He can't have big chunks of stuff. So I did want a big chunk of carrot in there. So I've got my carrot grated and ready to go. I wanted to grate it up so that the pieces were very small and uniform and would cook quickly. So the box grater worked out fantastic. I would have done that for my zucchini had I had it here. <laughs> you know, if you've been on my channel a while and you know that we're using the lemon emoji when you do stupid things, now's the time for my lemon emoji. 
Anyway, I've got my ground chicken cooking. I have my brown rice boiling in chicken broth. And I did decide to add just a little bit of olive oil to my hot pan before I put in my ground chicken because the boys need some good healthy fat. Plus the ground chicken is so lean it would just stick to the skillet. So it is browning up and cooking nicely. And then I'm gonna add my carrots along with some baby spinach that I'm gonna chop up pretty fine. Baby spinach is gonna wilt really quickly once we put it in the hot skillet, but I'm gonna go on and give it a pretty good chop. So my ground chicken is thoroughly cooked through. I'm gonna make sure we don't have any raw chicken. That would be bad, bad news. So it's thoroughly cooked. It's starting to brown. There's no moisture left. Uh-oh, rice is ready. Take a look at this. Yep, turn off the heat on my rice and we're just gonna let the rice sit there. But I'm gonna go on and add my carrots into the ground chicken and let them soften. So even though the spinach wilts when you cook it, I wanted to go ahead and chop it up pretty fine so there's nothing that the boys could choke on or the pieces wouldn't be too big even after it wilted. So now I think it is time to add the spinach to my chicken and carrots. Well, that looks good enough for me to eat. That is beautiful. I'm gonna let that continue to cook for a few minutes so that the spinach wilts down and then we'll season this up and add our egg. I swear, Maxie, you know that I'm cooking this for you, don't you? Cause you never just hang out in the kitchen, but you know I'm cooking something special. You excited? I'm excited to give it to you, buddy. Pollux is just over here chilling by the window waiting for dinner time, aren't you, buddy? Do you know that mom's cooking something super special, Pollux? These guys are just so funny. I swear, Maxie never hangs out in the kitchen with me, and he knows. He, he knows this is something special for him. These guys are just hanging out waiting for a good dinner. It's got to cook, and then it's got to cool, y'all. It's going to be a minute. But they're excited. This smells fantastic already. It smells like something that I would be cooking for myself. Honestly, it does. And so far, this has been pretty quick and easy to do and something I think I could absolutely get behind. The next thing we're gonna do is add about a tablespoon of turmeric to the quantity of food that I've cooked because this is gonna be several different meals for Maxie and Pollux both. And so this is gonna be dispersed pretty good in the food. And everything that I read about turmeric said that you have to have black pepper with the turmeric to activate the turmeric. So instead of actually using my pepper grater, which might be a little spicy for the boys, I'm just gonna use black pepper from my spice jar. Seriously, y'all are super excited. Are y'all supervising me? So I'm not adding any salt or any other seasonings to their food, just the turmeric and the pepper. Dogs don't need extra sodium added to their food, so absolutely not going to do that. This looks beautiful. So since everything in my skillet is completely cooked, it is well seasoned, I'm gonna crack in one egg and the heat from the skillet is gonna cook this egg. It's not gonna be raw. And then I'm gonna add my brown rice into the skillet and just let everything sit and meld and cool down so that I can feed these hungry guys that are waiting at my feet.
So the egg is incorporated, mixed in well. I'm just gonna turn off the heat and let's check our brown rice. Perfect, the rice is fluffy and it's gonna be so flavored because we cooked that in chicken broth. So now I'm gonna add my rice to my skillet with my chicken. So since this is my first time doing this, I wasn't exactly sure how much brown rice to make. I made one and three quarters cup of rice and one and three quarters cup of chicken broth, which is what was equal to one can. But now that I started adding the rice to my skillet with the chicken, I've got too much rice and I don't want them to just eat rice. So I have a lot of rice left. So next time I know I probably only needed to make one cup of brown rice Per one cup of chicken and then you add in your vegetables and things. So I'm just going to keep that brown rice in the fridge. This will last them a couple days and I'll do it again and then my rice is already made. Boom! So this beautiful dish is done. I have my heat turned off. I'm going to let this sit here and just completely cool. I don't want to serve them hot food and they are going to stand right here and watch me I think. Guys, it's going to be a minute! So while we're waiting on their food to cool, Pollux, what should we do to waste the time? He said he doesn't know. He just knows he's hungry and it smells really, really good in here. Right, Mooey? It smells super good in here. These guys are ready to eat. It's not even their dinner time yet. But you know I was cooking something for you. They're just all over the kitchen, sniffing, smelling. Look at, look at Pollux. He's got his nose in the air. I swear they know this is for them. I cook almost every night. They never act like this, but somehow their intuition tells them I am cooking their dinner. I love this. I'm loving the thought of cooking dinner for them. Fresh food, real food, whole food. I know it's a really big commitment. <laughs> Hello, Polly, pardon me. But uh, it's something that I think I wanna do. So this will be the perfect test. We'll see if they like my cooking for them, which I'm sure that they will. But I don't know about the spinach. I've never cooked them spinach before. Of course, they've had carrots and chicken and all the things, but never spinach, right, Mooey? But we are for sure, we're gonna find out in just a sec. We're letting it cool. I am so excited with the way this turned out. It is beautiful. It actually smells so good. And because it is all people food, 100% human grade, edible, whole, nutritious food, I'm actually gonna take a bite and see what this tastes like. It kinda tastes like a stir fry with no seasonings. I would want salt in it, obviously, and like herbs and things and spices. It just tastes like a bland stir fry, to be honest. I think the boys are going to love this. Is Daddy home? Did he just pull in the garage? The boys know it's dinner time when Daddy gets home. They come on in here, Daddy, it's time to eat. Why are y'all looking at me? Y'all, it's still cooling. I promise it's cooling, I promise. No, you don't smell popcorn. You smell the dog's dinner. Oh, what I smell. I smell your dinner. I smell your dinner. Woo-wee. Hurry up. So the food is cool, and Maxie always gets to eat first, right? Because you're the top dog around here. He the old guy. So Maxie gets to eat first. So I'm going to get his bowl, and then Maxie's going to eat. Then Pollux will eat, and we'll get their, um, we'll let them review their dog food. They can give us their taste test.
Are you ready, Moo Moo? Come over here to your place. Oh my goodness, he is scarfing that up. Mooey, don't be in such a hurry, bud. Ink Pollux is enjoying it. Are he gonna lick his bowl clean? What'd you think, buddy? Did you love it? Come here. Did you love it? You licking your lip, that's for sure. Well, I think the uh, homemade dog food was a huge success, right, Moo? How many paws do you give me? Do you give me five paws? Boom, five paws. He loved it. Max and Pollux both licked their bowls clean. They keep going back over to their dog bowl looking for more food. Come here. I think this is a keeper, and next time I won't forget the zucchini, guys. Mama won't make a big flub up. So that's gonna be our project around here is homemade dog food. We'll see you later. Say bye from Bowie. What did you think about it? Do you have comments? He just loved it, he said. He didn't need to change a thing. If you're interested in making the dog food for your dog that I made for mine, I'll put my simple little recipe in the description box below the video. See you later.